September 13th and good morning everybody we're waking up to once again unhealthy air quality uh, temperatures are mild we have more of a clearing sky and then we're gonna see really this smoke and haze continue throughout today take a look at the four things you need to know uh, barbecuing tonight will be better than last night you should see better air quality but we are still under an air quality alert slow improvement throughout the day and we should have again some better um, cleaner air coming in later on today. Showers are possible late tonight or early tomorrow morning. About a 40% chance of that occurring and cooler weather behind that that's going to move in for the weekend. For the next 12 hours going to be hazy. Temperatures again into the low 60s as uh, you get into the mid morning. Look for a mid 70s uh, coming into the afternoon and staying there throughout much of the afternoon with 77 our high today which is uh, a little above average. 75 is that average high for this time of year. Air quality alerts, uh, yeah, same story, different day. Uh, we continue to see those throughout much of Idaho and much of Washington uh, because of the smoke and haze. Uh, again, air quality right now is unhealthy, forecasted to go into the unhealthy for some later on today. We look at the smoke forecast and things do slowly improve as we get into the afternoon. We start to see those west and southwest winds really go to work on that smoke, pushing it out of the area. Unfortunately, it pushes it into areas that are already smoke prone. So that is what we're expecting right now. Again, we have unhealthy air all over the place, and uh, we're going to continue to see that slow improvement. Four-day forecast uh, calling for temperatures into the 70s, solid 77 today, mid-70s. Average temperatures Wednesday, Thursday at 75 degrees by Friday, 73 and uh, we will continue to cool for the weekend. Again, that chance of showers coming in late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Uh, about a 30 to 40% chance of uh, isolated shower and thunderstorm potential with the potential in some of those thunderstorms to have some um, flash flooding. Uh, certainly into areas north of us. So we're going to keep an eye on that. But 54 for the overnight low and then again mid 70s Wednesday and Thursday. I'm Mark Peterson. I hope that uh, you have a good day. Make sure that you're uh, staying in clean air as much as humanly possible and uh, limit your activities outdoors until air quality does improve. We'll continue to keep you up to date. The First Alert weather app is free and available in the App Store. And again, it allows uh, you to know when any uh, alerts are happening when it comes to your weather and your situation. Have a great day.